Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to a new video. Today we are going to talk briefly about 5 most common substances that is abused all over the world. So let's get into the video. The first one is opioids. So opioids are a class of drugs that includes illegal drugs like heroin and also synthetic opioids such as fentanyl and pain relievers available legally by prescription such as oxycodone, hydrocodone, codeine, morphine and many others. This morphine, fentanyl, these drugs they are mainly used for reducing the pain as painkillers. Heroin is the most common illegal drug that is uh, used as substance abuse from opioids. So this opioids, uh, this is mainly derived from a plant that is known as opium poppy. Its all, scientific name it is Papaver somniferum. So it's a flowering plant of family Papaveraceae. This plant it is uh, native to Turkey. So opium, morphine, codeine, and heroin these all are derived from the latex uh, that is present in unripe seed capsule. So this picture shows this uh, latex with the seed capsule. So the content inside this fruit is used for making these uh, drugs. And the most common abuse drug among this it is heroin. So heroin is a highly addictive painkiller that synth synthesized from morphine which comes from the seed of poppy plant that is Papaver somniferum. Both uh, heroin and morphine are opioids. Heroin is also known as Funk, Smack and H Street. These are their local names. Heroin is often combined with dangerous addictives like morphine or the powerful pain reliever uh, for example fentanyl. Approximately 4 million Americans have tried heroin at least once in their lifetime. Symptoms of heroin addiction and abuse can include severe itchiness, then depression, collapse veins, and many other symptoms also present. Now let's see what does heroin look like. So not all heroines look the same. It comes from uh, several different forms and it can be abused in several different ways including snorting, smoking and injecting. So uh, there are wide variety of heroin that varies in the color. For example, it looks like fine white powder or uh, this white it is the purest form of heroin. Then there is also brown or black powder. This form of heroin get its color from additives that is more common than pure heroin. Then it's, there is also black tar heroin. This form of heroin comes as black sticky gel. So these are the most common varieties of heroin. Now let's talk about main effects of using heroin. So heroin users have described the drugs high as intense feeling of well-being. When users inject this heroin, they often experience a rush from the drug that reaches the brain so quickly. So usually this rush from the intravenous heroin, it usually lasts for just two minutes. So intravenous users, they have uh, experienced this rush as an org orgasm in the terms of pleasure uh, during these two minutes. As heroin travels through the bloodstream, the high lasts for four to five hours. The general effects of using heroin it includes first one contentment, next it uh, uh, give effect of decrease anxiety, relieve tension, drowsiness, apathy. So me, these are the main effects that we get if we use heroin and the that's contentment it means the person is having a feeling of very happy or satisfaction. The second most common drug that is abused all over the world is cannabis sativa. So this is the plant of cannabis. So uh, cannabis sativa it is one of the oldest medicinal plants used by humans. 
The plant has been used for fiber oil production and simply as additive for food products. Cannabis sativa is commonly known as marijuana or street names such as weed, herb, pot, grass, bud, ganja or Mary Jane is a member of plant kingdom. The family Cannabisiae, the genus Cannabis and species Cannabis sativa L. And the most common uh, substance that is uh, misused from this Cannabis sativa is marijuana. So marijuana it is uh, most common abuse substance and it is an illegal substance and roughly 1 in 10 people who use this can develop an addiction or marijuana use disorder. Marijuana is a drug that occurs from cannabis plant. The plant is typically dried out, ground up and smoked. As shown in this picture, they, this uh, plant is dried after that they will be packed in a cigarette or in a pipe like in case of uh, tobacco and marijuana is also come in the form of edibles. Edibles are the food such as baked goods, candies that contain either one or both of marijuana's active ingredients. So the active ingredient that give us this high or euphoria is tetrahydrocannabinol or cannab cannabidiol. So like smoking, edible uh, produces the same effect with different amount of time between intake and feeling the effects. Now let's talk about marijuana effects and their abuse. So this is uh, how they, we will make this marijuana. And this marijuana is a psychoactive drug that alters perception. Marijuana contains THC. THC means uh, tetrahydrocannabinol. It is the chemical compound that causes the drug psychedelic or uh, that high so tetrahydrocannabinol is also determines the potency and strength of the substance the more uh, the concentration of this thc in the marijuana the more it will produce the effect the effect of marijuana may be different for everyone and depend on how it is consumed S smoking marijuana it produces a faster and short lived high than taking it orally. Wax or shatter that affects the us user immediately and may last for hours depending on the concentration of this THC. The effect of marijuana it mainly includes first one feeling of happiness or euphoria then there will be mild hallucinations. Hallucination it means uh, we will feel uh, like we are uh, seeing or hearing something that does not exist. Then increase of appetite, then reduced anxiety, etc. Also, these people after taking marijuana, they will have a bad trip experience. That means it will be like scary experience due to this hallucination. Also, on the basis of this THC or tetrahydrocannabinol concentration, it is marijuana, it or this cannabis it is classified into some groups for example bang it is made from dried leaves uh, in this uh, the thc concentration will be one percentage next one it is ganja this is made from inflorescence or flowers that is around one to two percentage and next one it is hashish or karash so it is made from uh, resinous exudates of this plant and in this there will be present of 8 to 14 percentage of THC and there is also hash oil in this hash oil there is the most highest concentration that is 15 to 40 percentage so uh, on the basis of concentration of this THC there will be uh, appearance of the symptoms or seriousness and also the thing that we should keep in mind that this uh, marijuana or cannabis it is very highly addictive drug that means once if we start taking for like few few days there will be an addiction and uh, when you try to stop it you will have development of withdrawal symptoms 
the third most common uh, drug that is abused is cocaine so cocaine it is derived from a plant that is known as erythrocylum coca it is a tropical shrub of family erythrocylaceae the leaves of which are the source of drug cocaine the plant is cultivated in africa north and south america southeast asia taiwan and it grows about 2.4 meters or 8 feet tall cocaine is a white crystal crystalline alkaloid that is obtained from the leaves of coca plant so cocaine acts as an anesthetic because it interrupts the conduction of impulses in the nerves especially those in the mucous membranes of the eye nose and throat so main method of uh, misuse of this cocaine is by snorting cocaine is a white powdery substance that react with body's central nervous system producing energy and euphoria or the high it is most commonly snorted but can also be smoked also known as free basing or dissolved in water and injected so there are various methods of taking this drug cocaine is also referred uh, to as coke blow or powder although most people today recognize that cocaine is addictive thousands are still drawn to it as many as 1800 americans experiment with cocaine for the first time each day cocaine is a stimulant that produces effects of euphoria and alertness similar to caffeine but this cocaine effect will be more much more higher than cocaine of course and cocaine is very addictive and very expensive that's why it is called as rich man's drug cocaine effects and abuse so any use of cocaine is considered abuse because it is an illegal substance cocaine is a central nervous system stimulant that affect the brain by stimulating high levels of dopamine a brain chemical that is associated with pleasure and reward over time cocaine negatively affects every part of the body with potential for severe long term effects it can cause changes to the genetics in the brain cells nerve cells and proteins among other permanent effects other effects of using cocaine it includes talkativeness excitement alertness then anxiety overconfidence and also there are some other uh, symptoms for example auditory hallucination that means the patient will hear sounds that is not non existing and there will be paranoid ideas there, there also can be presence of uh, cocaine bugs or tactile hallucination that means the patient or the person they will feel like some kind of uh, bugs are present in their skin so they will scratch it other on uh, most common abuse substance it is hallucinogens so uh, hallucinogens are diverse group of drugs that alters a person's awareness of their surroundings as well as their own thoughts or feelings they are commonly split into two groups uh, classic hallucinogens such as lsd and dissociative drugs so this lsd that means lysergic acid diethyl amide and pcp that means uh, phencyclidin so both type of this hallucinogens that can cause hallucinations or sensations and images that seems real though they are not additionally dissociative drugs that can cause uh, users to feel out of the control or disconnected from their body and environment so common classic hallucinogens it includes the following first one it is d lysergic acid diethyl amide it is the one of the most powerful mind altering chemical it is a clear or white odorless material that made from lysergic acid which is found in a fungus that grows on rye and other grains next uh, hallucinogen it is psilocybin uh it come from certain type of mushrooms found in tropical and subtropical regions of south america 
Mexico and United States. Next one it is peyote or mescaline. It is a sm small spineless cactus uh, with mescaline as an main ingredient. Peyote can also be synthetic. And the other uh, most common classic hallucinogen it is dimethyl triplans is a powerful chemical that is found naturally in some Amazon plants. And the next one it is fencyclidin. It was developed in 1950s as general anesthetic for surgery but it is no longer used for this purpose because of very serious uh, side effects. Fencyclin can be found in variety of forms. It includes tablets or capsules. However, liquid and white crystal powder are the most common used. Ketamine is used as a surgery anesthetic for humans and animals. Much of the uh, ketamine sold illegally come from veterinary offices. Let's see how do these hallucinogens that affect our brain. So research suggests that Classic hallucinogens work at least partially by temporarily disrupting the communication between brain chemical systems throughout the brain and spinal cord. Some hallucinogens interfere with actions of the brain chemical uh, serotonin which regulates mood, sensory perception, sleep, hunger, body temperature and sexual behavior also intestinal muscle uh, control. Classic hallucinogens that can cause the users to see images, hear sounds and feel sensations that seems real but that does not exist. The effect generally begin within 20 to 90 minutes and can last as long as 12 hours in some cases for example lysergic acid or as short as 15 minutes in others. Hallucination uses refer to the experiences brought on by these drugs as trips. If the experience is unpleasant, then the users they sometimes call it as a bad trip. Also the interesting fact about this hallucinogens is that it does not cause addiction. So there will not be any withdrawal symptoms if a person like suddenly stop uh, use of hallucinogens. The last uh, most common uh, drug that is abused by people is tobacco and the interesting fact about this is that it is the most common drug that is used in most of the part of the world and in India it is the most common substance that is used and also it is the most common psychiatric disorder in India. So tobacco, the common name of the plant, it is Nicotiana tobacum and Aztec tobacco and the cured leaves that is used. It is usually after aging and processing in various ways uh, for smoking, chewing, snuffing and extraction of nicotine. So nicotine, it is the chemical that can cause uh, these effects. The various other species in the genus Nicotiana are grown as ornamentals known as collectively as tobaccos. Smoking gives you a hit of nicotine which is the addictive substance in tobacco. Nicotine is a stimulant which raises your heart rate and blood pressure. First time smokers often feel sick and dizziness when they inhale nicotine for the first time. Many smokers believe that smoking tobacco helps them to relax and also handle their stress. But in reality, smoking it can increase anxiety and tension. Smoking interferes with certain chemicals that is present in the brain. When a smoker hasn't had a cigarette for a while, the craving for another one makes them feel irritable and anxious. From this, we can understand that this tobacco it is an addictive uh, substance. It's also found that, that this uh, tobacco addiction is very difficult to quit by a person. That means like if a person decides to quit uh, chronic smoking, like uh, 
by himself then only 3% of the people can be successful by their will power other people if they want to cure this tobacco they must definitely meet some uh, doctors for example psychiatric another one interesting factor is that this uh, people they will show withdrawal symptoms uh, for example if the person is an addict to tobacco then they will have within 2 hours they will have withdrawal symptom for example if a person smoke just now after 2 hours they will have cravings for another one cigarette if they don't uh, use it in uh, 2 hours there will be some uh, symptoms for example irritability poor concentration anxiety restlessness bradycardia increased appetite depression etc so the person will take another one cigarette so this is how the people become chain smokers and this is very serious condition this is all for today thank you guys for watching i hope you guys found this video interesting if you do so give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family and before you leave don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon so whenever i upload a new video you will get notified we will see you guys in the next video until then stay safe stay healthy take care and goodbye